Hey everybody, Matumbo here. Welcome back to the channel. And today we are playing some more Historic here on Magic Arena. And today we have a fun deck that I've, I saw. Um, I saw this deck, I mean, pretty much a couple months ago, right when Jumpstart came out. Some people were playing a version of this, but we get to add a fun card from the new Zendikar Rising set that could potentially help this deck get a little bit faster and a little bit more consistent. But real quick, before we hop into today's video and today's deck, I want to remind everybody, if you enjoy the channel, please hit that subscribe button, that like button, check out all the cool links in the description below, join the Discord, and leave a comment down below letting us know what you want to see in a future video. With that being said, we're going to be playing some Maelstrom Hunger. So, as you can see, yes, we are playing four copies of Ulamog. And why not? Because again... Historic is in a place right now where you really have to be playing a bunch of unfair cards. But what we're trying to do is we're trying to cheat out Ulamog in a couple of different ways. One of them being Maelstrom Archangel. So again, this is a reprint brought to us in Jumpstart. This is a 5 mana 5-5, five five, one of each color. It's a flyer. Whenever it deals damage to a player, you can cast a spell from your hand without paying its mana cost. So we can play Ulamog from our hand for free, and it does say we get to cast it. So we're casting it. We actually get the cast trigger that says exile two target permanents whenever we cast it. And we are going to just annihilate our opponents when that happens because some people don't really expect that. Another way we can cheat out Ulamog, but we would not necessarily get the cast trigger, is Ilharg the Raise Boar. So five mana, six, six, trample. When it attacks, you can put a creature card from your hand onto the battlefield tapped and attacking. So we don't we don't get the attack trigger or the cast trigger when it comes down this, this way, but we do get a 10-10 uh, indestructible attacker, which is really good. Um, the only other thing is it says is at, uh, return that creature to your hand at the beginning of the next end step. So it's going to attack, and then Ulamogs or whatever other creature is going to come back to your hand. And then the good thing, though, is if Ilharg dies, we get to, um, or get ex exiled, we get to put it onto... Uh, our library third from the top so we could potentially draw it again later on so that is pretty crazy another another interesting combo that this potentially has is <clears throat> we could have an Ilharg in play we can attack with it we could put a maelstrom archangel into play and then when maelstrom archangel hits uh, and deals damage to our opponent then we can cast ulamog for free so we also have one copy of zakama um, just in case ulamog is not the answer or for some reason reason we don't have Ulamog. We have one copy of Zakama. Um, this is a nine mana, nine, nine. Vigilance reach trample. When it comes, when it enters the battlefield, if you cast it, so again, if we can cast it with Maelstrom Archangel or just hard cast it, we get to untap all lands we control. And Zakama has three different abilities. For red, you get to deal three damage to a creature. For green, you get to destroy an artifact or enchantment. Or for white, you get to gain three life. So pretty powerful. So um, to top that off, we have Four copies of Rhythm of the Wild. This is a three-man enchantment. This is uh, your creatures can't be countered. And non-creature tokens you control have Riot. And Riot means when something comes into play, you either get to give it plus one, plus one, or haste. So this essentially turns all of our creatures into hasty um, attackers. And we can just get the job done immediately. We have four copies of Chromatic Lantern. Again, because we're playing five colors, we want our lands to tap for all crazy colors. Four Paradise Druids for the same reason, four land or elves. But then we have four copies of Lotus Cobra. Now this is the reprint I was talking about that's in Zendikar Rising. This says whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, add one mana of any color. So we can potentially ramp just a little bit extra for playing one mana. So we play one land. When it comes into play, we get a, we get a mana of any color. Then we can tap it for whatever other mana that we have. And then we might be able to just get down the angel on turn turn three or turn four and be able to just outpace our opponents and they can't really do anything. And on top of this, we have one copy of Shadow Spear just in case we need to give something trample or life linking. Um, you know, trampling Ulamog is pretty good. Um, I mean, Zakama already has trample, but trample also helps with the Archangel because we do want to deal damage with it. And that is going to pretty much assure that we get to deal damage with the Archangel. So let's look at our land real quick. We do have 24 land, or I'm sorry, 26 land, because um, we do want to make sure we are hitting our land drops here. Um, I know we have a lot of ramp, but it is very important that we actually still hit our land drops, and we are playing extra land because of Lotus Cobra. Now, 
We are playing a bunch of Shocklands, um, but I do want to point out that we are playing all of the ones that tap for green mana. And then at the same time, we are also playing four copies of Fable Passage because Lotus Cobra, again, is super important in this deck um, because we do want to make sure that we're generating that extra uh, colored mana of any color and just getting to where we need to be. So, all right, with that being said, let's hop into the gameplay. We will see you at the wrap up. All right, so Maelstrom Archangel hits your opponent. You get to cast anything from your hand for free. So, did we miss on anything other than playing, obviously, Ulamog and one copy of Zakama? Maybe? Oh, that's a moment again. This is... This is a keep, I guess? Oh, man. This is tough. Red Wanderer, okay. Gonna be this is gonna be close. Just don't have a three drop here? That would be great. Oh. Oh. Brutal. God, we put another one to the bottom. That is just brutal. If we draw if we draw the right shock land, we're good. No, we're not. No, we're not. So this is Yeah, no. Nope. I mean, I just gotta hope that they can't gray merchant us here. And they can't. That's pretty. Oh, they have a heartless act. That's stupid. Then it's dumb. All right, you got us. You got us. Boo earns. I was saying boo earns. Oh man, it's not how we wanted to start it off. I pulled out up. Doing it. We're hydrating. And in case you don't remember what it looks like, there it is. And so. Losing a game one. That is not fun. I feel like we're on a uphill battle now. We're going to keep this. Oh, are they playing treasure hunt? Really? Can we out treasure hunt the treasure hunt deck? <clears throat> I wonder if we can. Island? Yep. Yep, yep. Okay.
Um, let's do blue, right? Was it better to play this out? I think it might be. I don't really think it matters either way. I think we have to hit. Plus 37 cards left. This is going to be close. Um, black? No, I guess it didn't really matter, right? In the long run. Alright, so... So they win with a Jace? Interesting. So I guess it re this really doesn't matter here. We're gonna give this haste. I mean, we're gonna set you back some. Yep. That's what Maelstrom Archang uh, Archangel does. Yeah, get out of here, treasure hunt. Get out of here. That felt good. All right. That felt real good. <clears throat> yeah, I knew if we could uh, if we could get rid of their land to where they can't actually treasure hunt and then wind condition us at the end, then we're pretty much good. Uh, this is this is tough. We can't even play this on turn two. This is a tough hand too. So we have to go get a forest on turn one. Unless we draw one. That works. <clears throat> what? Growth spiral? No way. No way. You're crazy. Let's do no attacks. No, it's not really what we wanted to see there. But they cycle here. Oh no. I really want them to play something. I mean, sure, can't counter creatures. <laughs> you can't counter creatures with this card in play. It says it right there. Creature spells you control can't be countered. It was a good shot. It's been very, very long since somebody has done that. You can't counter the uncounterable. I mean, you can. But... All right, well, we need a beefy Ulamog to make this hand work. I 
wonder what our best draw is. We're going to keep this. But I mean, I wonder what our best, like, eighth card is with this hand. What do we want to see our opponent playing? Okay. I'll take that. Forest, hopefully. Island. Interesting. Oh, well. I'll say hello back. So they'll probably, yeah, I was about to say, they're probably playing another color. Ooh, that's fancy. So, can we play this Archangel? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, we're, just, we're just gonna play the Ilharg. I think Ilharg is a beefier threat. I'd rather them kill this right now than this. I mean, if we draw a Ulamog, we are g -g golden. Well, you did not. So. We are kind of playing into a wrath here, but I think we have to play pretty aggressively against this deck. Yep. Oh, they had a freaking Ulamog. Are you kidding me? Wow. All right, well. Yeah, it's just been so long since I've run into a uh, Garuda deck. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I mean, we're gonna we can afford to block with the land or else there. Oh, are you kidding me right now? Well, it's not coming back. That's the good news. We have 22 cards left. Top card has to be Ulamog. I'm not even going to go look to see if we have any left. Just has to be it. And they have to let us hit. I 
and they have to let us hit. Oh man. A trample. You're lucky we didn't have anything. All right, good game. Good game. Good game. On to the next game. We would like to go first. We would like to have a incredible draw. Let's see. Let's see if we can do any of those things. Oh, we're not going first, and we don't really have a great draw. So we are going to Mulligan. Hmm. We're going to keep. Thought sees don't have a th or a thought erase don't have a thought erase maze mind tome okay okay well stop drawing the logs Good draw. Don't worry, we're not doing anything with it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow. Oh, my God, really? Why are so many decks playing all this hate? Ah, uh, so you're just a Tezzeret deck, huh? I don't feel like you have a lot of interaction for this card, for creatures in general, like big creatures. If you're playing mass removal, you could have, you could have exile, odd or even. But I think overall, okay, yeah. So we're right, six. We're gonna hit for 16 next turn. Let's hit, let's draw an angel. You're not an angel. <laughs> All right, well, do it to it, my friend. Yeah, see, an angel there would have been really good because an angel would have actually, we could have put the angel into play with the Elharg, and then the angel would have dealt damage, and then we could have cast Ulam. OK, 
Okay. I don't... I don't feel like that does anything. Good game. Good game. Yeah, I guess they just wanted to get down their namesake card just to show us what they were doing, but we knew what they were doing. The fact that they were playing blue-black and Lady Amir really says a lot about <laughs> feed your Neopet. No, oh, we go first. This is not a hand we can keep. This is more like it. Um... Now this is I know that may may seem crazy, but I think that's the right putback. Some would say the right putback would have been Ulamog, but I mean ultimately we're trying to get down Ulamog. I feel like it was one or the other. Encounter that? That's fine. We're not going to attack into a... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're so close. Fear the land of our elf. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, nine. I mean, we're just going to keep hanging out. Even if they wrath us, I mean, we don't really lose a lot. I'm gonna be so mad if we miscounted this. Well. They can counter it, but we're still... Definitely should have gotten a mountain there, 100%. No, we counted, right? We counted right. That's fine. You still lose some land. You have no white mana now. Cost four to activate. So maybe we don't want to see. Okay, well. That's unfortunate. Oh. Well, let's draw this. No tax. Huh, okay. Okie doke.
So, yeah, so now we present lethal even if they have a blocker. Eh, that's not necessarily true. If they have a fl no, even if they have a flying ball, yeah, that's what I thought. Whew, that was a sweet game. We just cast Ulamog. Who will be the ultimate, the ultimate final boss, the ultimate showdown? They're getting us a good one. They made us wait a little while. Chocolatier. And opponent goes first with Luris down. I think we have to. God, I think we have to keep this. All right, well, we're doing it to it. Oh, right on time, elf. Do we have a good turn next turn? Oh, not with that. Which is oven? Aren't we aren't we past this? If we play this. One, two, three. Next turn, we'd have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think they just get back Luris here, right? Do they put Luris in their hand? Yep. It has begun. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Okay. I really just like to draw a land or an angel. I want to do this with having the least amount of creatures possible. Yep, have at it.
How much damage is this? Four. A lot of damage. I think now we just have to draw another Ulamog, right? Fiend Artisan is pretty deadly here. We need to really dodge some dodge some draws here from them. Um, I mean we're gonna keep it coming. I mean again. Again, we're just going to deal all of the damage to one creature. Yep, they didn't attack, so that's the game. And again, again, we're just going to deal all the damage to one of your creatures so we don't take more than more damage than necessary. Oh, and here comes the salty rope. We're going to end it. We're ending it on the salty rope. Yes, <laughs> the salty rope. Oh, I love it. Okay, there we go. Good game, Chocolatier. Sorry, but we... We got around your damage. All right, everybody, welcome back to the wrap-up. Now, this deck was a lot of fun. Um, we went 5-2 and two with it. We got to see some cool interactions. We got to see uh, Maelstrom Archangel cheat Ulamog into play. We got to see Ilhar cheat Ulamog into play. 
we got to see um we just re we got to see us hard cast and ulamog to win a game there was a lot of versatility to this deck it's not competitive by any means again it's a five color deck i feel like if you're playing five color you might want to just lean on playing niv mizzet because niv mizzet is just a super powerful card and that might be something that we go to hit on at some point soon niv mizzet because nobody really ever expects niv mizzet so we're going to give that a shot probably in the near future but uh overall i think this deck really came together really nice um I do think the 26 land might have been one or two too many. Um, again, we are playing so much mana ramp, but I do feel like because of the Lotus Cobras, we wanted to play maybe at least one more land. So maybe we just cut one, one mountain out of the deck and just put in another one of somewhere. Maybe just one more Shadow Spear or maybe one, one piece of removal, something along those lines. But I do feel like this deck is a lot of fun. It's super expensive. There are so many mythics in this deck. There's um, 13 mythics in the deck. There's a ton of land, a uh, ton of ton of rare land, um, a ton of um, ton of rares. But I mean, again, if you have the cards, give this deck a shot. It is fun. Um, if not. Can't necessarily recommend building a, a deck that has 13 rare, uh, 13 mythics that you probably have to craft. So, but yeah, if you enjoy this deck, please, please hit the subscribe button, the like button, share this with your friends. Let me know you made it to the end of the video down in the comments. Let me know what you want to see in a future video. And again, please join the discord and Hey, we're only about 50 subscribers away from 5,000. So again, if you're not subscribed, please hit that button. We're going to make it to 5,000 so soon. I want you to be a part of it, and we're going to celebrate in Discord when that happens. So, All right, with that being said, guys, thank you so much again. Stay safe. We'll see you next time. Remember, this channel would not exist without such amazing viewers and subscribers. Thank you so much for interacting with the channel and helping grow the community. And a very big special thank you to the Patreons listed here for supporting the channel. Thank <laughs> you.